Maybe not long enough Funny how I forget to blink But when you let down your hair Dancing like no one's there I know I'm where I'm supposed to be Patty, tell us a bit about what's happening now in Justin's life. This is hot off the presses. Yeah, actually, Justin is not just healthy like I pray, but like I said, he's really talented. Um, he's been putting up videos on YouTube, and he is now the number one most subscribed to musician in Canada on YouTube. Justin Bieber hawks a loogie over the balcony of his Toronto hotel, but the problem is there are a herd of fans down there waiting below. Signed with the music label and we're moving in about a week to the U.S., so it's a big step and uh, He's got a long journey and great plans. Congratulations, Justin and Patty, and keep this little family in your prayers. In 2010, he won 18 awards and two Grammy nominations. But in 2006, he was just a kid with a dream. This is Justin Bieber! Justin Bieber. This is the first year Justin Bieber was nominated for an AMA and he's walking off with the biggest prize of the night, Artist of the Year. Thank you so much, everybody, for all the support. I have uh, I won eight awards, so it, it was definitely incredible. Thank you to all my fans that voted for me, and uh, you guys are awesome. Thank you. Fans have been great, incredible, and I wouldn't I wouldn't be here without you. First met you, I told you you can have all of this if you believe in it. Now it's happened. Nineteen years old. I, I, I think. Uh, I think I'm doing a pretty good job. It, sh it should. It should really be about the music. It should be about the craft. The craft that that I'm that I'm making. And Monster hit. I, this is not a. This is not a gimmick. I'm not. I'm not a. This is not a gimmick. I. I'm a. I'm an artist, and I. I, I should be taken seriously. And, and he's forced to grow up in front of the world. When you fall in love, when you break up. Things have gotten worse and worse for Justin Bieber. His reckless behavior has been going on for a while, but now he's finally been arrested for a DUI, resisting arrest, drag racing, and driving on an expired license. News of his bad behavior can be tracked back to 2011 and 2012, when he was involved in numerous instances of unsafe driving. His neighbors also reportedly complained of his reckless driving in their neighborhood. In early 2013, Pictures surfaced of Justin, Lil Za, and Lil Twist allegedly surrounded by drugs and alcohol. And numerous confrontations involving his entourage and bodyguards have happened since then, including scuffles with paparazzi and fights in nightclubs. As the year went on, things got worse when Justin allegedly left a trail of graffiti on buildings while on his world tour. Now, most recently, Justin was accused of throwing eggs at his neighbor's house, resulting in thousands of dollars in damage. That stemmed a raid of his house where police allegedly found drugs and subsequently arrested Lil Za. Finally, it's led up to Justin's most recent arrest for drag racing. Plenty of pop stars have cracked under the pressure of celebrity and tabloid scrutiny. Now, Justin Bieber is feeling the stress. His week has been marred by hospitalization and a blow-up with the paparazzi. The larger-than-life 19-year-olds finding out supersized fame comes with supersized baggage. Justin Bieber is starting to feel the pressure. He's literally having his Michael Jackson leave me alone moment. That he can't work 12 hours a day and then party four hours every night. And he's backstage with the EMTs and the doctor. What's your name? Justin. He's been called speeding. Two hours late on stage, young fans forced to stay up way past their bedtime. He got busted for smoking weed, and he's really sorry about it, and that people make mistakes, and he's never going to do it again. Scooter, please come now. Scooter, water. Water? Can we get water? 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 
He's just falling down the stairs. He's just had an accident. Okay, He's okay. just collapsed, so they're just okay. calling an ambulance. Uh, I'm actually, uh, I'm retiring, man. Success, guys, a very, very lonely road, man. Very few people are willing to endure the pain, the sacrifice, the diligence to be successful. The things that I've done really don't define who I am. I'm a kind-hearted person who loves people, and through it all, I lost some of my best qualities. For that, I'm sorry. But what I can say is I'm looking forward to being someone that you guys can all look at and be proud of. Someone you can smile at and see some of yourself in. Someone close to me once said, it's how you rise from a fall that truly defines you as a man. I'm excited for that challenge. And I want to say thank you so much for taking this journey with me. And I'm excited for you to see what's next. You're nervous about the VMAs? I am nervous about the VMAs. I just like, I want it to be, I want it to be Great. so awesome, yeah. And I just, I'm a perfectionist. And then I start getting in my head about like people and... A big announcement, right? I do, yeah. I'm actually going on tour. Mm -hmm. Justin Bieber announced a massive tour to promote his fourth album, Purpose. The fifth biggest tour of 2016, and it crossed the $200 million mark. You finished this tour, and you've been on for what, like a year? Something like that. Over 100 shows. Crazy. You're not done. You're starting a stadium tour. Life is constantly changing. Surroundings are constantly changing. But I just think people could lighten up on him. I mean, he's so isolated and nobody understands what he goes through. And, you know, I think people think it's a lot easier than, than it is. Of, of building that legacy and that concept. And then the responsibility for him to hold it together, which he's had some difficult moments. We all do. Right. But that is the point. What do you do if you take a hit? Do you get back up? Yeah. Do you, you know, do you accept it as a knockout and that's it? No, you get back up. Um, what's next with me? Um, I'm going back on tour uh, February 14th, so come check it out. Touring is pretty grueling as it is, mm -hmm. and focusing on that I think is, is the important thing. And, and to see where he is now, a year later, happy and healthy. Out there, I feel like I kind of lost my purpose, or felt like I lost my purpose, and, um, and I feel like I finally got my purpose back. <laughs> It's lit! It's so lit! Justin Bieber says he is cancelling the rest of his world tour. Justin Bieber announced that the remaining dates of his Purpose World Tour would be cancelled. All we know is that he's going through a lot. That's it. People think he's having issues. It seems to be falling in another dark place. The reason given by his team in a statement cites unforeseen circumstances. I mean, I hope he's okay. More than 150 shows across six continents for 18 months. Justin's Purpose World Tour is shutting down earlier than expected, with sources saying the singer is super exhausted and that the lengthy tour was taking a toll on him. We're doing stadiums in, in the United States. He's starting a stadium tour. Justin announced on Ellen back in December that he'd be adding extra dates, and just last week, his team booked an all-star opening act lineup, including Vic Menza, Kehlani, and Migos. You give me but now, those final 14 stadiums will be purposeless. Is Justin Bieber actually retiring from music? Been faking smiles so long, my face hurts. Just pretend you feel no one. Justin Bieber. But now, secret that Justin Bieber has been quite emotional in public lately. But now, I thought that I'd be doing better. Right now, it's looking like that. Justin Bieber and the cancellation of his tour.
Justin Bieber announces that he's not a zoo animal, telling fans that he will no longer take photos with them. Today, Justin is taking an indefinite break from music. And now that we have more info for you guys, in regards to his break from music, I can kind of see why. Unfortunately, it sounds like the Beebs is feeling unhappy, unsettled, and all around not great. I don't even want it all, just want to feel a little happier. I want to enjoy life and not be a slave to the world and their demands of what they think I need to do. You know, it's nothing shy of devastating when someone is 13 or 14 years old. We know that the brain is not yet ready to handle all the rigor that comes with being an entertainer, let alone somebody who's quite as famous as Justin. Come on, guys. Now it's just getting. Come on, guys. I know. tell all the people out there, like, look what happens. Look, at, look what happens in my life. Really? Oh Alright, give him some space. Give him oh, some space. Give him some space. Alright, you guys. Leave me alone. I'm gonna get out of here. All I asked was it was for them to move over 10 feet from the How do you know about my staff? Just take your photos and just act like you're not even there. Thank you. Why do you guys ask such stupid questions? Well, no, no, this is a legitimate question, though. No. Because he's looking for really me. Let me live. I, I get it, but just like yelling and screaming. Yeah, thank you, Justin. It's just it's overwhelming, and then it makes oh, me feel like, oh, I'm not here to argue. I mean, like, I don't want this to be a, a thing. Uh -huh. But I do want to respect this. He's excited. Justin. Justin. Animals. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
fame at such a young age for anyone? Um, I don't. No, honestly, I think it's it's crucial. I think it can completely destroy a human being. And it, it, I got to a point where... Did it almost destroy you? Complete, yeah, it almost completely destroyed me. That's understandable. To That's a point crazy. of, like, unreturnable. It was hard for me being that young and being in the industry and not knowing where to turn and everyone, you know, telling me they love me and, you know, just turn their back on you in a second. Um, we didn't speak a lot during um, some of the times where he was running amok. You know, there were a few times where I saw him uh, and it just kind of hurt my heart seeing him the way he was, you know? So I think I just kind of put a little distance. I started valuing the wrong things in this business because there was things dangling in front of me. If I get this, I'll be happy. If I do this, I'll be happy. He's gone through a lot in a very short life. Um, was there anything that really concerned me? Yeah, I think maybe like Maybe the lean when he was drinking that. Can I say that? It was bad. I don't know if I'd be alive for sure. It was dark. I hear a lot about sinners. Don't think that I'll be a saint. There was a time where I was sipping lean, I was popping pills, I was doing Molly, um, you know, shrooms, everything. And it was just an escape for me. I was just young, you know, like everybody. But my experience was in front of cameras and I had a different level of exposure and people and like, I had a lot of money and a lot of things. So then you have all these people around me just kind of hanging on, wanting stuff from me, knowing that like, I was living this lifestyle that they also wanted to live, drinking, smoking. Responsibility for everything I've done, holding it against me like you're the holy one. There's a lot of people I think that think that fame is um, this achievement that brings you fulfillment and happiness. And the truth is, there's this weight and this heaviness on you to achieve and to be something. People have these expectations of you. It's just a lot. I was 15 when the world put me on a pedestal. I had big dreams of doing shows and making memories. Made some bad moves trying to act cool, upset by their jealousy. Uh, lifted me up. Aww. Uh, psychiatrist in Los Angeles who diagnosed him with bipolar disorder and gave him lithium without ever looking at his brain. When I looked at his brain, he wasn't bipolar. Basically, infections have uh, played a big part in my acne um, and my uh, overall toxins in my body, which just creates all this stuff. So it feels good now to know why I feel so crappy all the time. Justin Bieber is talking to social media with breaking health news. When some media outlets and trolls were posting that his recent pictures may have indicated drug use, specifically meth, he posted in sort of a snarky, in-your-face way. They failed to realize I've been recently diagnosed with Lyme disease. Not only that, but I also had a serious case of chronic mono, which affected my skin, brain function, energy, and overall health. Look silly or make mistakes. I think making mistakes is key to growth. And uh, this is my purpose, so thank you for listening. Thank you for coming out and doing your This is my purpose. There's so many people that have gifts and an opportunity to make a change and they end up either losing it or, you know, um, using their gifts for selfish reasons and, you know, I see so many talented people just almost like it feels like they're wasting something so precious. Just nervous a little bit, just expectation and stuff. Shouldn't we be writing this stuff down? What is it? Again? Okay. Shit. Anxiety creeps in. He has to get away. I feel as though, like, people try to legitimately sabotage me. The time where I was really unhealthy, I was battling Lyme disease. Listen, didn't give the changes era his all because he was physically and mentally unfit to do so. He was still working out his past traumas while trying to start a new era. When the pandemic hit early 2020, it forced everyone, including celebrities, to pause their regular day-to-day -day activities and quarantine. 
As it seems, Justin definitely benefited from that. With the Justice era, Justin's entire energy and look completely shifted. Take a look for yourself. I definitely had, you know, a lot to do in quarantine. I want to um, definitely make music that's going to inspire people and impact people. But every time I release music, it's always cool to see how people respond to it, for sure. It's going to be a wonderful, wonderful, incredible, awesome day. When the stage is dark and the curtains closed the last time, promise me you did what you could with your life. When the lights go out and the colors fade, no more songs to play, it will be too But when you real, ain't nobody stopping you We done made it through the obstacles Now we see it and we copping those But all you gotta do is hold up Keep on doing right, don't go wrong And keep your real ones beside you Stay down and let patience guide you But all you gotta do is hold up Keep on doing right, don't go wrong And keep your real ones beside you Stay down and let patience guide you When the stage is dark the curtains closed the last time yeah. Promise me you did yeah. what you could with your you life leave a man. When the lights go out All you gotta do is see it And the colors fade Believe it No more songs to play you can be it. it will be Let's too go. Not easy growing up, no. Mm. Only two years old, I was playing drums on the table. Guess I knew it was the only thing stable. When I was young, I could pick things up quick. Anything that I did, I was pretty good at it. Well, I started school, I was a troublemaker. Thought I knew everything in life, yeah, that caught up to me later. <laughs> I had to learn about humility. I had to grow up and accept responsibility, yeah. That wasn't easy, cause at 17 I had a milli Women throwing themselves at me had me going silly On the surface I felt like the man But deep inside I felt deprived just like an empty can I've had everything in life that people strive for Just to ask the question, what are we alive for? What you believe in, what you agree with, what would you die for? Is there a reason, what is the meaning, what do we cry for? One thing I know is we're in this together Together I was living in a mansion doing big things FBI raided my house and was getting dicey I was doing stupid to get people to like me All that to say I'm thankful that's not who I am And I'm thankful God was with me when hit the fan Cause she's the reason that I'm still standing And even in a pandemic God is still planning Planning peace, planning joy, plan another day Gave his life up on the cross to wash his sins away I've had everything in life that people strive for Just to ask the question, what are we alive for? What you believe in, what you agree with, what would you die for? Is there a reason, what is the meaning, what do we cry for? One thing I know is we're in this together Together, oh One thing I know is we're in this together Together, oh 
pray for every single person listening to this song right now. I pray for peace. I pray for joy. I pray for confidence. I pray for reassurance. I thank you so much for the person listening to this right now. I pray that you would bless them. Bless their mind. Bless their finances. Bless their family. Bless their sons. Bless their daughters. Bless their moms. Bless their dads. Bless their grandparents. God, I just pray for an overwhelming sense of your presence in their home right now. An overwhelming sense of your peace that says everything is going to be alright in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus.